What is the rice project? The rice project is where you get three cups, put rice in them, and then you put water on the rice. You say thank you to one. Thank you to the first one. You're an idiot to the second one. And the third one, be completely ignored. How long did you do this for? 28 days. We did it through February. What were the results on the video you saw on the internet? The thank you one fermented. The thank you one made a good, nice smell. And it was still in water. The second one was supposed to turn black. What did you say to that one? You're an idiot. The what happened to the one that you ignored? It was supposed to rot. Your I'll results explain. are different. I'll explain. The first one did not give up the nice smell. It turned black. Hmm. And all you did was say thank you to this one every day. Yes. The second one... Rainwater. Ew. Mm -hmm. Turned moldy. Yuck. And what'd you do to that one? We said you're an idiot. Hmm. This one... And it's also dried out. We left alone and it got a little bit of mold on it. It looks almost the same as the original rice, though. Yes. Yeah. I'll explain why. Because thank you takes two syllables and we're breathing air onto these. But this one was left alone with nothing on it. Here's an experiment to try that. Say thank you and put your hand in front of your mouth when you say it. You'll feel two big breaths of air on air. Now say you're an idiot with your mouth in front of it. With your hand in front of it. There's more air. If I talked to the first one, you said it was two syllables and two breaths of air. Yes. The middle one is even more air and the other one you ignored. So what does that have to do with the results? Breath has mold seeds and fungi. You mean spores? Yes, and they come when the rice is wet, when you breathe on it to talk to it, they get in it, and when the water dries up, they start growing. What do you think happened in the video? How come the thank you one was still nice? He put water in that one. He, he kept, kept putting water, water in kept it. Kept filling it up? He kept filling them up. What about the you're an idiot one? In the video, it was all dried up and black. But that's what happened to your thank you one. Yeah, he probably switched the cups around. What about the ignored one in the video? The ignored one? It Right. Maybe they did things behind the camera. Uh, three equal cups with three equal amounts of rice and three equal amounts of water. And every day for 28 days he said, thank you, you're an idiot, and ignore, ignored the third one. This is what happened. results. So they're completely different from the one on the internet. What do you think about the experiment you saw on the internet? I think we're smarter than a scientist. I think the experiment was just proved wrong. You think the internet one is fake? Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe it's fake. Now, I'm kind of curious about that video too. How can his cup of water still be full after a whole month? And in the video, the middle one was completely dried out like yours here, but his third one was still wet and it looked mucky. Mm -hmm. So what's your conclusion to saying thank you to rice make it happier, saying you're an idiot to rice make it sad, and ignoring rice makes it feel even worse? Ignoring rice makes it feel good, and saying thank you makes it feel terrible, and saying you're an idiot also makes it, makes it terrible makes it kind of average so you average. think that what you said to it had an effect on it maybe no i mean the feeling if i say thank you to the rice is the rice happier probably yeah maybe it's not because we're wait yeah. rice have no feelings ah so you think no matter what you said it didn't make a difference because maria it, said wait it, does it was matter. the amount of breath you breathed on it that's right